the 2021 Cincinnati Bengal reached heights that no one thought it was possible for this team to reach that fast with that young of a quarterback and that young of a core. But this team ended up reaching Super Bowl 56 against the Los Angeles Rams and was very so close to winning that game. So this is where we can all agree that the Cincinnati Bengals were the absolute biggest surprise of the 2021 NFL season. Now, as we're heading close to training camp in 2022, and with the draft being done and a big part of free agency being over with, now the discussion goes, can the Cincinnati Bengals repeat that success and get back to Super Bowl 57? And that's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. But before we get into that, make sure you guys leave this video a like, as that always helps this channel to grow and beats the YouTube algorithm. And while you're at it, make sure you click that subscribe button and notification bell so you will not miss any of the content that I post. But without further ado, let's dive into it. I'm striving to get rich. That's why I almost went two years without buying shoes and fits. Things change now. My mom hearing me with my music and she look a little prouder. The Bengals of 2021 were coming into the year with a lot of criticism and they were coming to the year with not high expectations to do what they did. The biggest criticism for the Bengals was the way that they handled that 2021 draft. Instead of drafting an offensive lineman, which they really needed, especially with Joe Burrow coming off a knee injury and needed massive protection, the Bengals went in a totally different direction in the draft. Instead of drafting Panay Sewell, which a lot of people projected and expected them to do, they went in a totally different direction and drafted Joe Burrow's college teammate from LSU, Jamar Chase, in the first round. And as we all know at this point now, that turned out to be a very good decision for the Bengals in 2021 as Jamar Chase ended up winning Office of Rookie of the Year, having a spectacular rookie season. And with that, Joe Burrow was named Comeback Player of the Year for his spectacular season as well in 2021. The people that critiqued the Cincinnati Bengals for not drafting Panay Sewell were still proved right by the way the offensive line performed in the 2021 season. As a team, they let up 51 sacks to Joe Burrow and 55 sacks in total during this 2021 season. And they let up nine sacks in the playoffs against the Tennessee Titans, and they let up seven sacks in the Super Bowl against the Rams. If the Bengals had a really capable offensive line, we could easily be talking about the Bengals as the Super Bowl champions instead of the LA Rams. Because when it came down to crunch time, if the Bengals really truly had a capable offensive line, I believe that Joe Burrow could have pulled off a game-winning drive and had the Bengals sitting there holding the Lombardi Trophy. Speaking of the protection for Joe Burrow and the Bengals' offensive line, they have made some massive improvements up front to help with that, with three big free agent signings to improve that line. First, with Alex Kappa signing him to a four-year, $35 million deal from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Next is signing Lyle Collins to a three-year, $21 million deal from the Dallas Cowboys. And next was signing center Ted Karras to a three-year, $18 million deal from the New England Patriots. These three moves are going to massively improve what was the Cincinnati Bengals offensive line of last year, along with keeping a lot of their core back with signing Eli Apple. Even though they lost CJ Uzama, they were able to sign Hayden Hurst to a deal. Even though they lost Larry Okajobi in free agency, this defensive front is still stout. They re-signed Josh Topu to a two-year deal. This Cincinnati Bengals team is very much intact from last season with the added additions of those three massive offensive line signings. The Bengals are going to be a team that is going to be hunted going into this 2022 season based off of their success in 2021. Very much improved offensive line. You have a very good defense that is still young and still improving. You have Joe Burrow who is emerging as one of the top 10, top five quarterbacks that we have in the NFL. You have Jamar Chase and T Higgins, Tyler Boyd at the wide receiver spots that are going to be very vital. Joe Mixon in the backfield. This Cincinnati Bengals team is absolutely primed for a repeat of being AFC champions and possibly getting back to the Super Bowl back in 2022. But they do have some history that could maybe slow them down from getting back to another Super Bowl. And the history is that the Super Bowl losers do not typically get back to the Super Bowl the very next season. As we look at some recent history 
of teams that have lost the Super Bowl, we're going back as far as 2011, and that is the New England Patriots ended up losing in Super Bowl to the New York Giants, but they finished 12 and 4 in the next year and made the playoffs, but did not get back to the Super Bowl. The 2012 San Francisco 49ers lost to the Ravens in the Super Bowl, still finished 12 and 4, but did not make the playoffs. Then we go back to 2013, the Denver Broncos made the Super Bowl, finished 12 and 4 the next year, but did not make it back. But they did end up winning a championship in 2015. The 2014 Seahawks were coming off of a Super Bowl championship and made it back, but we all know what happened and they lost that Super Bowl. Finished 10 and 6 the next season, still made the playoffs. The Carolina Panthers of 2015 ended up losing to those Denver Broncos and finished 6 and 10 the next year and did not make the playoffs. And then we go back to the 2016 Atlanta Falcons. They did not make the Super Bowl, but finished 10 and 6 and made the playoffs. The 2017 Patriots were the last team to lose the Super Bowl to come back and win it when they went 11 and 5 and ended up defeating the Los Angeles Rams in 2018. And speaking of those Rams in 18, they ended up finishing 9 and 7 their next season and missed the playoffs. And then the 49ers again in 2019 finished 6 and 10 and missed the playoffs. And then you have the 2020 Kansas City Chiefs that were coming off of a Super Bowl championship. They ended up finished 12 and 5 and they lost to the Bengals in the AFC Championship game. So, we have a history of Super Bowl losers not necessarily getting back to the Super Bowl outside of those 2017 New England Patriots. But, I do believe the Cincinnati Bengals can be a team that changes fortunes of history and get back to the Super Bowl. Even though the AFC is very competitive, when you look at teams like the Buffalo Bills, you look at teams like New England still improving, the Miami Dolphins made some massive changes. You also have an AFC West, which I think is the very most competitive division heading into this year. You have the Raiders who made some changes. You have the Denver Broncos who ended up acquiring Russell Wilson. You still have the Chiefs that's going to be competitive. And then you have the Los Angeles Chargers that are still going to be competitive in the AFC. You have the Ravens and you also have the Steelers as well. And you have the Browns in the very own AFC North division for the Bengals that made some improvements. So the AFC is going to be stacked and it's going to be absolutely loaded heading into this year. But the Bengals with that past experience, the Bengals with the improvements of their offensive line, you still have a very young and very successful defense intact. You still have a lot of your young pieces on offense with the wide receivers and Higgins and Chase and a very solid offensive line improvement with, of course, I think one of the best quarterbacks that we have now in Joe Burrow with Joe Mixon in the backfield. So this Cincinnati Bengals team led by Zach Taylor as head coach still have the makings to repeat in the AFC and make it back to the Super Bowl and possibly win it. This team is very successful in 2021. It's still very young, but are they going to be able to transition from a team that's trying to get to the mountaintop versus a team that's going to take some best shots from teams because they won the AFC last season? They have the makeup to do so. Joe Burrow has the personality and he has the makeup to keep things cool. And they have the roster that is improving to keep things going forward in 2022. So do I personally believe the Bengals can repeat in the AFC? Yes, I do believe so. It's going to be a tough challenge. But I do believe at the end of the day, this team has the possibility to repeat as AFC champions and make it back to Super Bowl 57, despite all of the competition that they are going to face. But those are just my opinions. Make sure you guys leave this video a like as it always helps this channel to grow. And if you are not subscribed, go ahead right now, click the subscribe button and notification bell so you will not miss any other videos that I post. And comment you guys' thoughts down below. Do you guys believe the Bengals can repeat as AFC champions in 2022? But I am APW Sports signing out. Make sure you guys stay safe. Have a great and excellent day. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.